<laughs> I didn't notice Pete had your scarf on him. It's a good time. It's just, he just keeps evolving. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, speaking of evolving, Chris is about to introduce us Revolving. to a man who has certainly done that in his career. We're getting a little bit closer to the time of year when college basketball takes center stage. And Chris is going to tell us about a local team that's aiming for the NCAA tournament. That's right. The women's basketball team at Hampton University has been to the big dance two straight years, and the Lady Pirates look stronger than ever this year. One of the big reasons for the team's success has to do with the coach. He is David Six, and we meet Coach Six today on this week's edition of Wreck on the Road. Hampton University head women's basketball coach David Six has the look of a longtime college basketball coach. Ah, but don't be fooled. This is just his third year coaching college basketball. You know, obviously it's my dream opportunity to, to get paid to do something that you love and certainly appreciative of Dr. Harvey and the administration over here for giving me the opportunity of taking a chance for someone who had never had any experience in uh, at the college game and, and, and you know, just taking a leap of faith. It was a true leap of faith by Hampton University President Dr. William Harvey. Six made the jump to Hampton University soon after guiding Hampton High School to two state championships. Still hold a high expectation for myself and wanting to do well or whatever. And, and uh, I think that we've come over here and, and, and we've taken advantage of that opportunity and, and, and uh, trying to, to, to show the world what uh, Hampton University women's basketball is all about. Six says the biggest difference between coaching high school and college basketball is the relationships he forms with his players. I think the biggest difference between uh, uh, high school and college is, is in, in high school, you may have known that kid since they were three or four years old. Uh, there's a much more of a, 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 a trust factor. You know that you, you may know that pe that person's family or whatever. In college, you're just getting to know that person. You got a short period of time to, to gain their trust and, and get them to break some habits and get them to do things the way you want them to do them. His quick study of players has paid off. Six guided the Lady Pirates to the NCAA tournament his first two seasons. This year, Six and his Lady Pirates have knocked off Boston College from the ACC and Pittsburgh from the Big East. They are 20 and 4 overall, 12 and 1 in the MEAC. While he admits his team is on the right track, he also gives a lot of credit to the competition around the MEAC conference. I call it the Tiger Woods syndrome. You know, well, there, there were some years where Tiger Woods made like a mockery of golf. You know, the, the level of expectation was there, but he was able to, to maintain that or whatever. And I think that as long as you have uh, uh, a high level of expectation for yourself and you work hard, you, you, you're going to come close. And so we, we work hard uh, here. And um, no one puts more pressure on me than I do on myself. So, I, you know, I'll, I'll continue, I think, to, 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 to try to excel. Third year coaching college basketball, and this is the third straight year he's led the team to 20 wins. Uh, two straight years of the NCAA tournament. He has to still win the MEAC to get into the NCAA tournament. Yeah. But uh, so far, a great start for David Six. And it's so neat to see him go from high school to college yeah. and be successful. So. And it's nice that he could do that and stay in his home, t you know, in the same area. That's right. He didn't, make a, he didn't travel very far. Right. That's for sure. All right. Well, best of luck to him and to the Pirates. Yep.